Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And coffee in my Ohio State Yeti. Um, first and foremost, I always forget to say this, but if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would really help my channel out. I think 50% of the people that watch my channel don't subscribe. And more numbers means a little more ad revenue, which means I can go shopping more or make more DIYs, blah, blah. You know how the deal is. Also, if you want to watch the commercials all the way through or click on one, dare I say, that would help too. All right. First and foremost, I'm going to be doing a budgeting video coming up. So I'm collecting materials. One, I'm, one of the videos is how to do like cash challenges. I'm doing a hundred envelope challenge. So I made this little container from the Dollar Tree. I cut these out on my Cricut and I'm going to put a hundred empty envelopes in here if they come and they fit. If not, we'll do something else in here. But this is part of the 100 envelope challenge and it's gonna be part of the giveaway. Not now, but when I do that video of, on how I do this challenge. So I have some stuff in here for that. Then I'm gonna be doing a video coming up about a topic that not everybody wants to talk about, but being at a certain age, i.e. I'm 53 and I just went through the loss of a relative that didn't have children. And so as her nieces and nephews, my siblings and cousins and I handled her estate, which was great. She did an amazing job and I want to be her when I grow up. Aunt Linda, bless you woman. Everything was laid out. Everything was tidy and neat. So nobody wants to think about end of life, but we need to think about the people coming after us. So I have some stuff for that as well. And then we'll have another video. Trying to get some more content up besides just shopping and spending money. Let me know what you think. Oh, I have a tag. I fixed it. Okay, so back to shopping and spending money. Because that's why we're all here this morning. Okay, this is in no particular order because I just have bags of stuff. Um, boring. I needed clean wrap. Um, oh, these are exciting. I found... Two more of these glass containers. So the long, I got the long one, uh, the rectangle, and now I have the square. I really am enjoying these. Um, packing my lunch for work. And little leftovers and stuff because I'm a single lady and this is what I do. You know, like I may have this much of a leftover and I'll just pack it for lunch the next day. I love the glass. I love that when it goes into the microwave, there's no like chemicals melting into my food. I don't know. It just feels better. This is Bonita Home is the name of the company. And they had them in round, square. I just feel like the round doesn't really hold probably holds the same amount but I don't feel like it does but I like about these is that um you can microwave freeze dishwasher safe and I'm wondering if you can put them in the oven I don't know but it doesn't matter I got two and I'm purging out some of my plastic stuff contain like food containers so that's okay, let's leave this here okay um, for my giveaway or for my coworker's son, it is a scratch off game. It's scratch activities and you get like, uh, car crazy vehicle maze, wheels and borders, tic-tac-toe, and it's the black messy stuff. I mean, it's not happening here, so it's okay. And it comes with a stick and you scratch it off. So I got that for my coworker's son. So I grabbed that. What's next? Oh, food. I got food, guys. Um, I grabbed some of this because it has four carbohydrates per half cup serving. That is crazy. Like, good. I used to buy Rouse, R-A-O-S, and it's super expensive, but it also had four carbohydrates per serving. But they changed their recipe. A, it's not as good, and B, it's got more sugar in it. So I purchased this. I will say it is a little bland. But for four carbs, I can add all the seasonings I want. It doesn't have what I don't want in it. So I did use 
some of it. I actually have some in the freezer. So what I did is I opened the jar. I can't eat all this before it goes bad. So I took some silicone cupcake liners and I filled them with this sauce. I think I got six of those cupcake liners in the freezer. I need to take them out of the silicone, throw them in a zip bag. And then when I need it, I can pull out one or two to make a meal that I'm not wasting. Even though it's $1.25, it's still wasteful. So I got this. It is Sus Susquehanna Valley Harvest. And I saw some folks on my keto channel talking about it. For Sarah, I found Maple Brown Sugar Powerful Oatmeal Bowl just for her for breakfast one morning. Um, yeah, it's just oatmeal. I mean, I can't have it, but it does have 20 grams of protein. So if you're not aware, protein is what keeps us full and satiated. It makes us feel full longer. So the more protein you can get into a meal, the better off you are. Carbohydrates, simple sugars, not so much. You feel full right away, but then you're hungry again real quick because it's not a long lasting full protein. So if you want to have oatmeal with maple brown sugar, get one that has some extra protein. I'm just saying. Um, oh, I needed these for work. So I need to put these with my work stuff. My new favorites right now are red and purple. It changes, but right now, and I have a big container at work. So this box here has eight drink packets. So this will be four drinks, so four days, maybe two, maybe two days if I have two waters, which I should, I'm just saying, especially with the amount of um, coffee I drink. Grab some gum, again, boring. I bought, I want to try this again, the bourbon vanilla. I bought a new coffee maker. Don't get me started on my Cuisinart. That'll be for a vlog, I'm sure, which I should do today. Uh, but anyway, I got the vanilla bourbon, Jim Beam. I think this will make two pots. I think maybe three pots. I make a 28 ounce pot. Who knew that I now measure in ounces? I, I didn't know until I got my new coffee maker. Now it's like 28 ounces. I'm like, no, no, I need to know how many cups. Is that six cup? Is that a six cup? Because if you didn't know, a coffee maker, the cups on the side, not eight ounces. Six ounces mostly, sometimes four. My Cuisinart was four ounces for one. Yeah. Again, coffee maker. Can you tell I'm a little frustrated with the coffee maker? Some chocolate, sugar free. Oh, I also have found out that I really should not be eating the caramel sugar-free from Russell Stover because it gives you some intestinal distress, which shouldn't surprise me because what it takes to get to a, to get sugars to a caramel state is very concentrated, but these I'm fine with. So just a little piece of chocolate when I need it. I think I have some more. And then these, I have found them before and I got them again. OMG. I know it's called sipping broth. I know what it is and I have done that. Like put it in a cup and made some hot broth when I wasn't feeling well. But I also use this as like a bouillon. So I made some noodles the other day and I just threw one of these packets in with the boiling water with my keto noodles. And I ended up with a chicken broth. Well, a spoon. Uh, sipping broth, a delight foe. They're broth bags. Um, and they come like, yeah, I'll show you, which is great for me on the go. So when I'm traveling, I will put them in my backpack just like a tea bag. But it's a little more substance, a little more flavor when I don't want tea, if I want something a little savory. And they look just like a tea bag in here. So I grabbed three packages. I see them occasionally, but I felt like three was good. Um, great for me to have on hand for, again, if I get under the weather, a little stomach distress or something like that. Perfect for that. Okay. Candy food. Um, Okie dokie. Now where are we at? I think we're at today's haul. Yes. So I picked these up. They are just little, like, plastic eggs covered in twine and painted. I think for my work or outside, I'm going to make a garland. They may go outside on my front door. My front porch is covered. Um, I need that over here. My front porch is covered and therefore things like that. I wouldn't put anything like too nice out there, but they don't get rained on. Humidity, yes, but no rain. Um, I'm dying. I got Oscar Mayer Wiener hot dogs, and I'm keeping these. These are Oscar Mayer Wieners, guys. Yeah, they are. Because my bologna has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. 
My bologna has a second name. It's M-A-Y-E-R. Right? If you know, you know. So those are mine. Not life-altering prizes. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. This is Closet Essentials. So it is, should be at every store at some point. I'm going to open it. Sorry, Crinkle. Comes in a two-pack. If you have a lot of belts, I wouldn't say anything too heavy, but if you have belts or some light purses or scarves or in your drying area, like I will use this to hang my bras on because I don't stick them in the dryer. So I will hang them when I, I have a clothesline outside of my, not a clothesline, but a tension thing. And I will put that on there and I can hang my bras to dry. I know there's a million things in your craft room. You can hang scissors from this. You can hang um, your Cricut mats from this. Oh, I love it. Two pack, a dollar 25. Cause we're now forever calling it the five quarter store. I mean, that's what it is, right? Okay. Oh, and then I got a pair of black leggings. I did get the two X. I don't know. I think the one X's are fine, but it stretches a little tight and I wanted a little more zhuzhi room. So I got the two X. I mean, they're $5, you know, they don't last forever, but they're leggings also. So who cares? They're very comfortable. And my other black ones have a hole in them. Not from the Dollar Tree, from Old Navy. Also, if you didn't know what causes those little pinholes, I'm fairly certain when the fabric is on the knitting machine that they make to make the fabric, it's a drop stitch. And eventually it stretches and that drop stitch makes a hole. Just in case you needed to know. Okay, now we're into some of the supplies I have for getting us financially organized. So if you want to do any kind of cash stuffing, um, cash saving, any kind of that you need. And if you watch any of the channels, you see the fun um, envelopes and things like that. We're going to make them with Dollar Tree stuff. Now, I will say this. If you're making a small amount, one, two, three, uh, you know, four, five things. Perfect. Dollar Tree. On this one, six. If you're going to make a hundred of something, this is not the way to go. Now, I will tell you this vellum is actually priced appropriate. There are six sheets in here. Four of these sheets equals a 12 by 12. So a dollar 25 for a sheet and a half is not bad for vellum. But some of the other stuff, it's not. But I just wanted to throw that out there. But this is vellum. You can see through it. And some folks are using this to make cash envelopes. Um, you don't have to spend a lot on a calculator, but you do need one. So I grabbed a calculator. Easier than your phone, especially if you're out shopping and you're trying to keep tally on what you're spending. Easier than your phone. And it's a fellow 25. This is actually for me. I'm doing my taxes right now. Oh. But I'm not doing my taxes. I am preparing my taxes. I'm getting all my receipts together, all my spreadsheets. Ugh. Yesterday five hours I sat at my desk. Please remind me next month why am I not doing this on the monthly? It could take me 20 minutes to put all my expenses together. No, mm -mm. I waited till the end of the year and now I'm going crazy, but I needed a staple and I don't have one at home. So I grabbed one. I don't need a fancy one because honestly, I'm just stapling receipts together. So we'll stick with that. Um, oh wait, oh here's something else that's not pork rinds. I do not like the Brims, B-R-I-M-S, that they sell in my area, but I love the MAC brand. MAC pork rinds are my favorite. They come in all different flavors. They have one that's queso. It tastes like cheese popcorn, but I like the MAC, so I grabbed one because I'm hungry. All right. Um, they have these sheets. These are four sheets of scrapbooking paper. Again, this is a good deal. I don't know what this is down here at the bottom, but this is glitter. If you can see, you probably can't. But this pack is glitter. I saw some pastelis. They come with um, four individual sheets. This is a good deal at the Dollar Tree if you're making your envelopes and you want to use like a little something more sturdy. If you don't have a laminating machine, this is your move is using this. So I grabbed that. The gentleman at my Dollar Tree was fighting all of his bags. So he gave me a giant bag because he said, I don't want to do this anymore. I grabbed some more candy. I keep it in my, I'm going to put all my stuff together for my budgeting video. 
Um, I just I have a snack basket in my closet, so whenever I'm at the Dollar Tree, that's what I buy. All right, lastly, we have, I only bought two, but they do come in all of these colors. One, two, three, four, five, six different colors. So if you're cash budgeting and you want to do um, sinking funds, we'll talk about that later. You can buy a binder at the Dollar Tree, a three ring, and use these. So much, much less expensive. You can also use these to hold your receipts. Um, like for me, Lori, all my receipts for the month. And then when I do my tax spreadsheet at the end of the month and not the end of the year, I have everything collated together. So there's lots of uses for these pencil pouches. I mean, they are pretty cheap. The cool thing is they're see-through, so you know what's in it. You can put labels on them. And this is the time of the year, of, not really, spring, summer, summer towards fall. Back to school time is the one to buy them. I don't know why my store has been putting them all out, but we'll take it. So we grabbed those. Yeah, my stapler. Oh, and numbers. So this is where it can get expensive. Like if you're doing the 100 envelope challenge, I didn't even calculate how many packages of stickers you would need with numbers. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you only get five ones. And there's a lot of ones in 100, in one to 100. But if you're doing, again, small denominations, let's do, a, let's do our screen grab. I'm getting a glare. There we go. Okay. Um, small envelopes, like a small number of envelopes. Perfect. And these are sparkly and they go with the glitter paper that I got to make them kind of bougie. These are crystals. They're also dimensional, so they won't lay flat. So I just keep that in mind. Um, I got packing tape for making envelopes because we're going to assume we all don't have laminators. Oh, this is my favorite thing, but hold on. I need to find the last of the items. Okay. Um, I grabbed a 50 pack of envelopes. If you want to do the 100 envelope challenge, um, I will show you. But what you can do is cut these envelopes in half. And now you have 100 envelopes for $1.25. And they will fit in that Dollar Tree um, plastic container. The thing is, it doesn't have to be fancy and bougie looking. You don't need to spend money to save money. You don't even need a dollar twenty-five envelopes, but if you want envelopes to stash your money in, those are it. Um, and I will tell you, Dollar Tree used to sell, and I haven't seen them in a while, but the self-laminating sheets, again, perfect if you're making one or two envelopes, not okay if you're gonna be making a million. Um, labels. If you're making the 100 envelope challenge and you want labels because you're using different colored paper, Get some of these. This one has 15, but they have other packs with smaller stickers. I just like this size, and I'll show you why when I get to that video. But, um, yeah, labels. They're stick. They're sticky. You can write on them with a Sharpie. Good, done. Call it $1.25. But they also have sticker packs that have much more stickers, like the little dots. And you can just write on the little dots and stick it on your envelope. Again, we don't have to spend money to make to save money. Um, I grabbed some of this. Now, this is crafting paper. It's much thinner than cardstock. And you get 24 sheets in here, which I believe I could make 50 envelopes, but I have to measure. This is six by six. Yeah, I could get 60 three inch by three inch little envelopes out of one of these packets. So really you would need 250 if you wanted to make 100 envelopes and they come in all different fun prints. We'll cover that. And then last thing I got was this. Now, if you are wanting to be a cash budgeter and you're gonna be bringing your money with you, you can buy an $80 Moturn wallet that has the, the, the binder clippies in it or some type of wallet like that. Or you can really just get $1.25 this will fit in your purse. Open it up. It is a, it's for coupons, but your money, your envelope, where is it at? Hold on. Please hold. This one will open up full for a full size. You can put your 
receipts in that front one or your um, tracking sheets. And then back here, you get sheets, right? That open up, you can't really see it, but they have a slip and you just slide your dollars right in here. And because it's sealed on this end, your money's not gonna go flying. And you can have one, two, three, four different, um, four different, I can't remember the name, like topics, but you're all yelling at me. I know you are. Anywho, you can have four different things like grocery, coffee, fun money, gas money, target money, whatever. Put a, a label on there, call it what it is. And then on the front, very first one, you open up big and wide. You can actually put more in here, but this will hold a full size sheet of paper. So if you can put your grocery shopping list in here, you can put your, like I say, stash your receipts in here. And then it's all in this little tiny wallet that costs $1.25. So when I do the budgeting video, a lot of this stuff is going to go into a couple little giveaways that I have planned for you. So come back and watch and let me know down below some other topics you'd like me to cover that, you know, maybe not just shopping. I don't know. All right, everybody, you have a good day and I will talk with you later. Bye.